All right, so Chili, let me ask you a question. Have you ever heard of uh, precognition? Do you know what that means? No. Uh, like where basically uh, you can see something in the future mm -hmm. or uh, you know, tell the future in some way. Well, we're gonna do a little experiment with precognition with these cards right here, okay? Mm -hmm. As you can see, it's a well-mixed deck. Looks like a fairly normal deck to you. Yep. Good, I'm glad it looks that way. <laughs> Just kidding, no, it really is, it's fine. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna split the deck uh, about in, in half, doesn't really matter. So we'll play, place half here and half right over here. Now what I want you to do with this half of the deck is I want you to go ahead and give it a cut anywhere you want. Just cut the deck. Yeah, perfect. And then complete the cut by putting the rest of the cards on top. Perfect, that was great. Now do it again, anywhere you want. Cut the deck, it doesn't matter where, just wherever you choose, great. Okay, and then mm -hmm. complete the cut by putting half on top, great. So you just cut wherever you want to, yes? Yep. Okay, the two cards you cut to are uh, the seven of hearts and the five of clubs, all right? These would be the two cards that we use. Now keep in mind, if you had cut differently, we could have had like the uh, five and the six, okay? Mm -hmm. Now if you add five and six, that's what, 11, right? Yeah. Uh, obviously. Uh, or we could have had uh, like this right here, like the uh, seven or the eight, uh, which would have been, uh, what, 14, right? Mm -hmm. Right, but we have the five and the seven, which is 12, right? Isn't that right? Yeah, 12. Yeah, oh, if my math is correct. Okay, great. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to take this other packet right here. Go ahead, mm -hmm. you, you go ahead and pick that packet up. I want you to turn it face up, since you're holding it face up. And what I want you to do is deal um, these cards face down onto the table, 12 of them, okay, mm -hmm. into a pile. So turn them face down as you deal. One, like that. Yep. Two, three, four, five, Ooh. six, seven, <laughs> eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, perfect. Now, this card right here that's now facing you is the 10 of diamonds, yes? Yep. 10 of diamonds. Now, all these other cards, you could have, uh, we could have had numbers that equal different numbers. We could have had any of these cards, uh, or let me take this from you right here. Or if you had, uh, again, if you had cut differently, it could have been any one of these cards. We could have landed on any card, but you chose the 10 of diamonds. That's the one we landed on. Mm -hmm. Now, here's what's really, really interesting about all of this, is that inside the card case, I made a little prediction earlier, and the prediction I made was the 10 of diamonds. Out of any card you could have picked, the 10 of diamonds. But here's what else is really interesting, is that remember, we, we not only, uh, you know, we started with a number, right? Mm -hmm. And the number was the number 12. Yeah. Go ahead, turn over my prediction card and see what's written on the back, which <laughs> is the number 12. Wow. <laughs>